Okay, let's find a spot for everything. Well, hello everyone and a warm welcome to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, my name is uh, Helen. And uh, let me just adjust this. Actually, let's just clip it on. Uh, I have a glass of cranberry juice. I'm skipping a uh, coffee uh, for this uh, video because I just wanted something refreshing and cold. And I've put a few ice cubes just to, you know, make it a little bit more interesting. So a sip of cranberry juice and a bit of lipstick. I hope you're all well and you are excited about summer. And when we talk about summer, we're thinking about, of course, summer holidays. If you're lucky enough to go somewhere this year, summer fashion as well. I really love summer fashion. I love the fact that the clothes are lighter and they're not as bulky as uh, pieces from our winter um, collection. And I love linen. I'm wearing a linen shirt today. And I was walking past Coast the other uh, day and I was really happy but also surprised to see that just upon looking at uh, the boutique, uh, all I could see was black and white, white and black. And this color combo is one of my favorites i think it's so classic classy really really simple i adore black and in the summer i love whites of course you have to be quite confident to wear white pieces the other day i went out for a drink with friends and i was wearing my freshly washed and ironed white linen shirt and i got a black spot at the back i don't know from an insect or it was something i was just you know it was still smelling <laughs> nicely uh, from the washing machine and i had spent so much time ironing but voila i adore black and white looks clothes if you uh, adore them too stay and watch uh, this uh, video i have selected some of my favorite pieces from the new summer collection from Kos. Uh, and I'm going to start with dresses, then move on to tops, bottoms, and I have a couple of accessories uh, there for you. So as I was saying earlier, I'm very, very excited about summer, summer outfits, summer pieces. Uh, yesterday I spent quite a few hours just organizing and tidying up my wardrobes. Currently I have one, two, three wardrobe spaces um, in, uh, in my flat. Uh, so I have one main wardrobe in my bedroom. Uh, then we have built a very simple IKEA one in one of the storage rooms. And then I have the usual clothes rail that sometimes I use um, for these uh, videos. So I did a lot of work. I just wrote everything down on the bed, trying to rearrange uh, all the knitwear and all the heavy cashmere wool stuff went uh, at the top and then I just rearrange everything else the summer dresses the summer accessories the shoes it was quite tiring I have to say but when I finished I just felt you know that I have accomplished something the important thing is that when I do things like that I feel like my life and my wardrobe is organized and it just gives me like peace of mind and it makes um, the process of putting an outfit together, dressing up a little bit simpler and stress-free. When we talk about black and white pieces of clothing and putting together a black um, and white um, outfit is, I mean, is a no-brainer. It's, it's the simplest outfit combo that you can put together and I'm here for it. So let's start with dresses. I love dresses, by the way, during uh, the summer. I think it's so easy because you just throw a piece of clothing without thinking, uh, creating, let's say, an outfit by putting more than one pieces together. So you just throw it on and you just need the, your accessories, of course, and then you're good to, to go. I think my lips are so pale. Let's change that. Right. This is a very subtle um, lipstick. I just found it as I was tidying um, some makeup uh, stuff. 
it's from Clarence. It's Jolly Rouge Brillant 21 Pink Orchid. It's super um, old, uh, but it's a beautiful like consistency texture. The color is like a lady pinkish, and I like it. I think I match my beautiful peonies. It's my favorite flower. So uh, starting with dress number one, I think let's fix uh, the lighting as well. So there is a lot of sun uh, going on uh, today and the sun really wants a part in my video so i don't know how it all looks but let's start with dress number one this is a voluminous sleeveless midi dress uh it comes i think in both colors but i've chosen white simply because i think it looks more chic and more elegant of course the black it's a no-brainer uh, as well, but let's be a little bit adventurous and opt for a few white uh, pieces more than usually. Uh, I love that it is sleeveless and it has a super high neck. I love the length. I think usually in coast dresses like this, because of my height, I'm not that tall. Uh, for me, this would not be midi, but it would be uh, maxi rather. And I like the contrast of uh, the fabric situation there. So you have uh, the top uh, part uh, feels quite stretchy and, and uh, then the bottom is a little bit voluminous and it has this cute little uh, pleats and it's like a full on skirt, but without looking uh, too big. So next up, I have the scoop neck jersey midi dress again midi if you are very tall but if you are uh, i would say normal height this is a uh, maxi for me so it has a round neck it is sleeveless as it uh, says and i think last year i purchased something similar to this if it's not uh, the same uh, i've worn it a lot it was super super uh, maxi but it was okay when i was wearing it with uh, flip flops and the image uh, of the model gives us a great idea, right? This idea, I remember this style, um, it was very popular when I was going to high school where you wear something either strappy or sleeveless and underneath you have a white t-shirt. So it's a brilliant idea. I think I'm gonna try it with the jersey dress that I have from COS uh, with just a simple white t-shirt. You don't want the t-shirt to be too voluminous underneath, but you don't want the t-shirt to be too tight. So something in between um, is a beautiful idea. It creates a black and white outfit with two uh, pieces of uh, clothing that I'm pretty sure a lot of you might have. So you don't want, you don't need to go out and, uh, and buy it. <laughs> now this dress or shall i say kaftan when i saw it i fell in love with it because this is actually this is my style in a nutshell i like black i like good fabric and i i like these you know voluminous um and big proportions when it comes to clothing some people might say this looks a little bit shapeless uh, of course you can always shape it up with you know a little belt or something but i just like to feel the freedom of the clothing that i'm wearing without uh, feeling restricted at all and i love this oversized kaftan uh dress uh, i believe it does come with a little fabric belt uh, if you want you can wear your own belt it can be a leather belt or it can be another fabric one or you can go beltless feel it as it should be like a long uh, moving and free-flowing uh, kaftan and kaftans are a big thing of course in uh, Greece in uh, the summer uh, because it's something for the beach but it can also take you to anywhere else that you want to go after the beach without having yourself fully exposed so I really really like it and I like the round neck uh, like a little boat neck and it has this beautiful V uh, and I think this is a very clever uh, design because the dress itself it, it covers you quite a lot especially if you're not tall but this little V detail just shows a little bit more skin and uh, I think it just balances the outfit and the look a little bit better now the next dress is a mini one uh, i'm not a big fan of mini dresses 
I think at my age, I'd rather go with something midi or maxi just because I feel more comfortable uh, in it. But I've chosen this flirt mini t-shirt dress because I think it's just so easy to wear. You can have it in black and white, you choose your color. And the length is, I think, appropriate and is uh, still chic. Uh, it's not super mini and I like the A-line that it gives um, at the bottom part of the dress and I love the fact that the um, the sleeves <laughs> the sleeves are uh, like long-ish enough to cover a little bit here they don't feel tight so your body breathes easily and it just looks good i really really like it i can imagine this with you know leather flip-flops or leather sandals or birkenstocks and you just go uh, out and about run your errands go for a coffee um meet your friends and do so many activities in such a beautiful yet simple elegant and easy to wear uh dress now this next uh, dress this is uh, this reminds me of my v uh, t-shirts because it has this V detail and of course uh, sleeves and it is super super uh, long uh, this is the v-neck midi dress in black I think I like this in black and white I don't think it looks uh, very nice and a little tip that you might know if you have a bigger bust v-neck is the neck that you need just to make you feel a little bit slim down and um, personally when I wear a v-neck compared to a round neck I just feel a little bit more comfortable about this area uh, this is just a personal uh, preference and uh, an opinion and again this is very similar to the short uh, t-shirt dress just throw this dress on you go out you go to do your grocery shopping you still feel you know uh, chic and stylish and with um, minimum effort uh, really I really like this kind of dresses for summer um, instead of you know wearing trousers and tops when you go out just to do your errands and your shopping so super super comfy so now let's uh, discuss about tops I've selected my favorite one starting with this ribbed tan top and I love that the straps are a little bit thicker than your normal everyday tan top I love the, again the scoop detail the length of it you can have it over your uh, whatever you're wearing or you can have it tucked in it's a beautiful such a you know minimalistic little top that you can uh, wear with so many pieces from uh, your uh, wardrobe so uh, the next top that I have is knitted, a very thin fabric, slimmer straps and it reminds me the vibe that we tried to create earlier on with uh, the dress, the jersey dress and the t-shirt underneath. So this top has two colors, this one is in navy and cream and it is so beautiful. This is like the epitome of, you know, effortless kind of style like really I threw it on oh I didn't notice is this a layer top oh you know you can see the under layer and the top layer is a little bit you know has this uh, messy kind of vibe and it's I, I love it I really really like it and the model the way uh, she wears it is is amazing and it has a matching skirt that I'm going to discuss in a bit now the next piece of clothing I think is such a staple in my wardrobe and actually i am in need of a good quality oversized white linen shirt i do have the one i was talking about earlier that i i washed it and uh, i do have uh, that one from h m but the material uh, the fabric the linen is a little bit see-through it's too light so i really need to get a new one um with a thicker um, uh, fabric and I think this one is really nice it has this oversized uh, design that I really like because I don't want my shirts to feel too feminine and too uh, tight this is not the vibe for me uh, let me know what's your vibe when it comes to linen uh, shirts it is white it has beautiful color and I always like to 
to fold the, um, the sleeves like that and have a few buttons and button is, is beautiful it's quite long so if you want you just tuck it in if you fancy again i do like the more relaxed approach uh, to my outfits and I, I want the shirts to just hang in there sometimes i might tuck something in but this is very very uh, rare and the next uh, shirt that i have is again in linen this one is in black and it has short sleeves because it's, it's beautiful to wear linen shirts with long sleeves of course we roll them up uh, but i do like a shorter sleeve especially uh, if it is super hot outside i've recently purchased some, something similar to this from australia uh, i discovered this brand and i'm completely obsessed with it it's called assembly label uh, by the way, I uh, asked my SA uh, when I was uh, shopping if they ship to London and they do. So check them out and uh, they always have some uh, sale going on on, uh, on their website. Uh, so it's, a, it's an easy linen shirt to wear with so many um, uh, pieces from your wardrobe. It's nice to match linen and linen, like linen bottoms, linen uh, top, but you can also wear them, you know, I also sometimes I uh, combine my linen pieces with silk pieces as well because you know I just love the marriage of contrasting fabrics. Um, I think it makes things a little bit uh, interesting, and of course you can wear them with any jeans that you have in your wardrobe. Okay, and the last top that I have for this uh, video. This is very unlike me because I don't. I used to have fancy tops but not anymore i always reach out for really simple things to wear like linen shirt cotton shirt silk shirt uh, tank tops t-shirts um and that's that's it but i really like this uh, blouse it has this beautiful brooch detail on the side and even though it is asymmetric again asymmetric is a style a design that scares me a little bit because I feel that if you're not tall enough it's just this um, this detail looks a little bit funny on you but I really I really like the, this uh, blouse I love that it is in an ivory color so it goes beautifully with similar color bottoms or just total uh, black something in black whether it is a silk skirt let's say or um, a black uh, pair of trousers it's minimalistic effortless stylish chic it gives me french vibes to the max and i'm game and the next uh, clothes category that i have is of course bottoms i'm keeping it really really simple here i've just selected two pieces one pair of trousers and one skirt and i'm going to start with the trousers first of course they are in linen and white it's like a combination made for summer for those summer days but also uh, nights uh, i love these trousers because uh, they are wide leg uh, they have the draw uh, string which makes them super comfortable and adjustable when you wear them and you know sometimes in the summer especially you find yourselves you know being out drinking eating you want to enjoy yourself to the max and you want your clothes to feel comfortable and to have enough space for anything that uh, might happen on your nights uh, out if you know what i mean and the uh, skirt that i have selected is again the layer knit skirt which is um part of the set uh, that i showed you earlier with uh, the layer knit uh, top uh, i love the length of it i don't know if it will be flattering on um, I, don't, I don't know uh, because I haven't tried it in all honesty, but I liked the fabric. I loved how light it uh, looks and I love the color combination as well. Uh, so I know that we've been talking about black and white outfits and looks uh, in this uh, video, but I love the detail here in the colors. We have ivory cream. It's not completely white, so it's off white and uh, navy. It's beautiful very sweet uh, and very chic uh, well thought color combination um, and I, I think this two-piece uh, set is beautiful it looks like a dress uh, you know especially 
if you have uh, the top just hanging there of course you can tuck it in um, as uh, we said and then you can uh, just distinguish where is the skirt where is uh, the top very very nice I would I would see this outfit as an afternoon outfit I wouldn't probably wear it in the morning because I think it's too let's say preppy and stylish for uh, a morning attire but I could see myself wearing something similar in the afternoon just taking it to the evening um, for a night out why not and last category for this video uh, is accessories I love accessories in general because I think not only they complement complement a look especially if it is a very minimalistic kind of look but they elevate it so they can do wonders to what you're wearing you might be wearing something so so simple as a t-shirt dress but just with the right accessories you know sunnies uh, bag um, uh, shoes fragrance and lipstick and so I don't know they're not accessories but you know what I mean I always treat my beauty products as accessories because yeah, they complete my look but that's how I think uh, of things anyway so the first item of course it could not be anything else but a straw summer bag I love summer bags I love that you can find so many options in the high street at quite affordable prices and last year I purchased a beautiful uh, straw bag with leather details from cause and this year they have created a similar but kind of different uh, bag so this one is in a straw material for the base and um, uh, in this off white yellowish beige color and again it comes with leather black details which I think elevate uh, the look of the bag so much and it makes it look so much more expensive than it is so if you are a fan like me you know of these um, what's the brand Loewe beautiful straw summer bags but they cost hundreds and hundreds uh, of pounds and you don't want to spend that amount of money like no thank you I think this one or uh, also the one from Arquette Reese they have a similar one and I'm pretty sure every single shop have something to offer in this uh, department is the perfect uh, choice and uh, reasonably priced if you have a discount code I mean even uh, better if any of these bags go on sale much 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 better this one comes in two sizes I've been to the shop uh, to my uh, nearest boutique and I tried it on I feel that the bigger size is too big and it is an exaggeration for me and my body type and height so I would go for the small one so of course the small one it can only fit a certain amount of uh, things but for me the size was uh, perfect and as I've mentioned before this kind of bags I also take them uh, with me when I go grocery shopping to the supermarket uh, of course I don't buy a lot of things but you know if I'm missing like a cucumber or some peppers or um, bread let's say and I want a quick uh, shop I can fit everything into my straw bag and I think such a beautiful and stylish uh, way to do your grocery shopping at Waitrose you know just tucking everything in your uh, summer straw bag beautiful I love it uh, yeah. so next um, accessory I uh, am in love with leather sandals leather flip-flops I've mentioned uh, these actually I'm wearing my tickets uh, as we speak uh, in my shoe trends uh, 2024 uh, video that I think the leather flip-flops sandals thicker dressier sandals you choose your style is I think the shoe for the perfect shoe for uh, the summer in black would be my uh, preference because I feel like it goes with everything of course if you're wearing a lot of creams and browns go for a brown option but these ones from cause I think they are perfect and again they look so polished and so much more expensive uh, than they are I love the toe thong uh, detail of course you need a nice uh, pedicure uh, you always need a nice pedicure when you wear flip-flops and um, sandals uh, you can do it yourself I am a fan of doing my own pedicure at home because I don't want to spend so much money at the salon and yeah I think that crossover detail the toe thong it's it's quite sexy uh, 
low key and sh and chic. I love it. And now to the last uh, piece for this um, roundup uh, uh, haul, and one of my favorite accessories is this beautiful woven straw hat. I have a thing for hats, and I've had a thing for hats since I was quite young. And after the first time I visited the UK to study, actually, so I noticed that there were so many hats around, and a lot of people were wearing hats. I mean not to go down the path to have a beard, don't get me wrong. Um, and I remember the very first uh, uh, hat that um, I bought from here was a, a fascinator, it was a fancy, fancy black uh, hat. And uh, then I went uh, to Greece for holidays and I wore it for, um, for an occasion. Um, and I remember like people looking at me uh, and everyone was wondering who is the girl with the hat. My grandma had uh, told me that and, uh, you know, she looked at me and she felt so proud of me because I looked quite cute, if I can say so. So since then, I've had a thing of uh, hats. Before that, I mean, I hadn't, yeah, I hadn't, I guess, discovered this part of my style, let's say. But ever since, I've been wearing hats non-stop, whether this is, you know, just a baseball cap or um, a fedora for the summer or um, like a wool hat in the winter or a beret anything i love the style but i also think that hats are also functional you know it's not just let's be stylish so in the summer if you wear a hat like this one it protects you from uh, the sun and especially me because of my eye situation i don't wear sunglasses when out and about because if i remove my glasses and wear sunnies i cannot see a single thing so my eyes and that area is always exposed to the sun so just by wearing a hat it protects me a little bit uh, so this one is so stylish it, it gives me like french riviera uh, vibes uh, i think it's big enough and it covers a big part of your uh, face i can see the photo from uh, the model like it covers at least up until here so pretty much the whole face uh, so that is super super uh, uh, good and uh, good for your, you know, sun uh, exposure. And voila, that was it for today's video. That was my cause summer 24 um, pieces uh, roundup. I've selected what I would not hesitate buying uh, just after we finish uh, this uh, video. Some of these uh, pieces I already have in my uh, wardrobe, and it's good to see. Now, you know, you discuss a new collection, a current collection, and it's amazing to see that some of the pieces you already have in your wardrobe simply because these are classic, all-time classic uh, pieces. And my wardrobe uh, is all about this. I want to open my wardrobe to see, and I want to see easy to wear and style pieces. And I don't want to feel, you know, when, the seasons change i don't want to feel the stress of oh i have nothing to wear and i really need to update my wardrobe i really need new uh, items because what i have in my wardrobe looks outdated or i'm bored of it or i don't like it anymore it's not trendy anymore it's not in fashion it's not in vogue and la di da uh, i think it is important to build a capsule wardrobe the way you want it to build it and to be happy with it uh, looking at it wearing it styling it styling fashion clothes need to be fun and there are so many other things in everyone's lives that can cause you you know stress and tension and all of that clothing dressing up styling should not cause you any of that this should make you happy and feel your best self um, and really feel happy in wearing what you have and your own personal style. Your style does not have to be similar or the same to others, to what others uh, wear. You can be inspired by people and by the things that you uh, see, but I think it's important to stay true to yourself, embrace yourself, love your body, Love the body you live uh, in because 
that's what you have um, take good care of it as much as you can you know what's good to do you know what's not so good uh, to do i will leave that uh, to you and just you know be stylish and uh, enjoy thank you so much for joining me for this uh, video i really as always appreciate spending some of your valuable time uh, with me and i hope i'll see you in my next one bye guys and cheers mm. even though it's super sunny outside I still have some ice cubes, amazing.